Hey guys, it's Benji. Welcome back to my channel. Um, nasa channel kita, it's either maybe uh, nakita mo isa sa mga videos ko on how to get a job in Singapore. Well, to tell you honestly guys, before I started uh, doing my vlog, so ang first na topic ko talaga na gustong i-share sa lahat ng mga Filipinos is how to get a job here in Singapore. Wherein, alam ko naman na maraming mga, mga gustong mag-Singapore. Well, um, despite of that, sobrang hirap po makakuha ng trabaho dito sa Singapore. Pero I'm giving all high hopes to all those Filipinos na gustong mag-take risk. They wanted to challenge themselves to come here and find a better opportunities as well. At sa lahat po ng mga bago pa po sa channel ko, don't forget also to like, share, and comment down below. And of course, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel. So I'm proceeding to my next topic is on how to get a job through walk-ins or through agency. Okay, so um, before anything else, I'm going to share you this uh, story which is a very reality here in Singapore. So ayun, may isin naman akong isang friend. Um, uh, he's looking for a job. So what I advise him is to ano, to print maybe like 10 to 15 resumes. So what I did or what we did, so we starting going around dito sa orchard nga. So since um, hotelier din siya, uh, he wanted to work in hospitality industry. So ang ginawa namin, sinamaan ko siya. So we applied from different 5-star hotels. So um, minsan magandang may kasama ka na nag-apply or going around para at least kung let's say for example yung kapag sinabi kasi no quota parang minsan na feel sad ka at least meron yung taong nag-cheer up sa'yo so maybe kung may mga friends kayo dito sa Singapore if they're free if they're free lang naman then they can help you na samahan sa pag-apply pero I always salute those people na nag-apply on themselves yung sila lang kasi at the end of the day kapag naging successful yung mga applications mo parang it's all worth it yung mga hirap mo now, um, the reason why I've been telling na always, um, kasi dito sa Singapore, we have what we call Lucky Plaza Building. It is where you can print your resumes. So, all you have to do, so, punta lang doon, magbabayad ka ng $1 for maybe 30 minutes uh, na internet at the same time, you will print all those resumes. So, kung na-print mo na, then make a strategy. So, as what I've said sa ibang video ko, make a map up. So, pupunta ka sa certain area, titignan mo dun kung saan ka magsisimula. Okay, as what I've said, let's focus in one industry first, which is in hospitality. So, ano nga ba yung mga gusto mong apalayan? So, dun na yung mga gusto mong, dun na yung mga pupuntahan mo. So, sasabi ka lang, Hi! Hello! Um, I just wanted to inquire if you are hiring, and then if it's possible for me to be able to drop my resume, mga gano'n gano lang. So, as what I've said, they would accept. So, antin mo na lang kung tatawagan ka nila. Guys, sa mga hindi pa nakakalam yung sinasabi kong quota system, sana mga panood nyo yung first three videos ko na discuss ko dun briefly. So, ayun, para hindi na paulit-ulit yung mga sasabihin ko. Okay. And now, um, going through agency. Okay? So, usually here in Singapore, may maraming mga agency uh, mayroong mga, kung let's say for example, magre-register ka, may mga agency na wala ng registration fee. Mayroon din mga agency na may registration fee which is, it will cost you like $30 to $50 SGD. So kung i-convert mo yun in peso, uh, medyo mahirap kasi talagang mag-convert ka in peso. Kasi ang 30 SGD, umaabot na siya ng mga 1,100 pesos. Okay, kung nag-register ka naman sa mga um, agency, ang uh, mangyayari niyan, um, unlimited naman yun. For example, um, ako, engineer ako, nag-apply, uh, nag-register ako sa isang agency. So, yung agent, for example, kung meron silang opening na related sa field na yun, they will call you for that interview. Okay, so, yun na nga. So, for example, natawagan ka na sa isang interview. Okay, and then sabi na natin, sampung applicants. So, sa in agency mismo, uh, for example, ako yung agent, akong sampung aplikante. Yung sampung aplikante na yan, hindi ko yan isisend lahat sa employer para ma-interview ng mismong employer. 
So, akong mismong agent, dun pa lang isi-shortlist ko na kayo. So, siguro kung pipili ako ng top 6 na pwedeng mag-move sa next interview. Okay? So, dun pa lang, isipin mo na, oh, mas magaling nga ako sa kasama kong aplikante. I mean, you always have to sell yourself. Okay? So, let's say, for example, from 10 applicants, me as an agent, I will select this top 6 para sila na lang yung isesend ko sa mismo employer's interview. Okay? So, syempre, mga Pilipino, we're all competitive. So, dapat yung tipong, nandun pa rin tayong being positive na Sige, try. subukan kong mas magkini ako magsalita, subukan kong mas sellable yung resume ko, or mas sellable yung experience ko. Pero minsan kasi, nagmamatter pa rin yung experience. Pero aside from experience, the confidence that you're telling, uh, the confidence that you're showing to the agent or sa employer, nandun eh, iba yung nagagawa ng confidence. Parang na-overpower niya yung mga tipong may experience pero medyo shy type. So, kung ikaw mas confident ka na kayo mo namang eventing sarili ko, it's always a good advantage. Okay? Next, for example, um, aside from trimming down or being shortlisted, uh, so let's say, anin na yung napili sa employers, para sa employer's interview. So, most likely, kung dalawa lang yung i-hire ng employer or isa lang, yan yung tinatawag natin the chosen one. So, of course, um, I remember parang I attended an interview. It's like we're 20. So, of course, um, kung sasabihin ko, kabado ako, sabi ko, uh, oh my God, we're 20. So, most likely, ang mga kukunin lang nila dito, siguro dalawa, tatlo. So, luckily, um, sa siguro 1 to 2 hours na nandun ka nag for your turn, luckily, I think nakuha ko sa top 2 na napili. So, sabi ko, wow, nakuha ko sa top 2, parang I cannot imagine na nakuha ko. Parang, so, doon ko lang na-realize nga, si, doon ko lang inisip na, ba't ako nakuha? O siguro, there's something. Kasi nga, each one of us or each individual has their own charm, um, ex- uh, they have their own charm, not X factor they have their own charm. At the same time, their experience. Kasi nga, nandun dapat yung confidence. Alright? But, uh, actually, to tell you honestly, hindi rin ako nagtuloy sa company, company, company na yun. So, it only means that God doesn't want me to work on that company. So, He gave me the better uh, company. Alright? So, yun lang. Para at least you have the idea na ganun ka-competitive mga Filipino. I mean, kung as much as possible, kung kaya nilang makuha to, kaya nilang kuha nito. Okay? Kasi nga dito sa Singapore, guys, um, minsan, they're asking, I, I received a question last night lang. Sabi niya, Kuya, um, are, they, are they accepting applicants po from Philippines? Sabi ko, actually, nag-accept naman sila ng mga applicants. Ito, um, this is a very reality. The, parang bibihira na lang yung mga agency na nagko-contact ng mga Filipinos na nasa Pilipinas. Bakit? Kasi lahat na ng mga applicants, sila na mismo dumadayo sa mga agency. Which is, if I am the agent, but pa ako tatawag ng mga aplikante na nasa Pilipinas? Wherein, they're right in front of the door para mag-apply sa job na yan. Diba? So, hindi ko rin masabi na hindi ko rin sasabihin na, oh, punta kayo dito. Pero, para sa akin, sasabihin ko din na try to apply try to apply online habang nasa Pilipinas kayo. Kasi nga, parang it saves time. Tapos, pwede mo pa rin gawin yung mga dapat mong gawin. So, sa gabi, pwede ka lang mag-send ng resume kahit nasa Pilipinas ka. Pero since, advantage pa rin ng mga applicant na nandito na. Ayun. So, dahil sa inyo yan, guys, uh, it's your option. What's your... Uh, what's your opinion or ano yung mas nag-weigh sa inyo kung gusto nyo ba pumunta rito or kung gusto nyo munang mag-apply online sa Pilipinas. Okay. So, for example, ikaw na the chosen one. Of course, yung HR sasabihin niya, oh, congratulations, Mendy, you were chosen among the uh, 10 applicants. So, of course, sa agency, uh, you're not going to pay all the hindi mo babayaran yung ano, total placement fee. So, may, most likely, they will only ask you to pay like 300 to 500 SGD for them to start processing your documents. Okay. Speak of processing the documents, so yung HR hingi na niya yung ano, 
Certificate of Employment, um, TOR, Transit of Record, Diploma, etc. etc. and Birth of Certificate. So, ayun. Um, ayun, yung agency fee, speaking of agency fee, uh, different type uh, different types of passes, different types of uh, placement fee. So, for example, if your work permit, usually ang placement fee nila is 3,300 SGD. So, in peso money, most likely it's 120,000 pesos. Now, um, if they're applying you for an SPAS, ang placement fee niya is 5,000 SGD to 5,500 SGD. So, sa Pilipinas, siguro mga around 200,000 plus pesos. Okay, going back, um, of course, um, the HR will ask you to pay 300 to 500 SGD for them to be able to start processing your documents. Now, uh, maybe your question is, am I going to full? Am I going to pay the full amount? Hindi pa. You're, you only have to pay the full amount kapag na approved na yung pass mo. Okay? Dada naman yung patakaran dito. They're gonna ask you to pay the full amount if it's already approved. So basically, ang babayaran mo is yung registration fee na 30 to 50 SDD. If lucky ka naman na may mga agency kang napuntahan at walang registration fee, much better. Okay? So, mag, uh, pumunta ka na sa mga interviews, you were the chosen one. So, the agent will ask you to pay this amount of 300 to 500 SDD. I'm not sure. Basta tumatakbo lang sa range na Okay? Now, kapag na-approve na, means that's the time that you have to shell out that amount. Okay, so kapag work permit nasa 120,000 pesos, kapag SPAS nasa 200,000 pesos. Now guys, um, might be asking me, um, may mga agency ba dito sa Pilipinas para sa Singapore? Meron naman siguro guys, but definitely higher kasi nga um, for sure may patong na yan. For sure may patong na yan. Okay, expect it to be more higher. That's why uh, you have to double check everything. Kung pipir ka ng kontrata, anong makukuha mo? Since mag-work ka na sa company, always double check kung magkano yung salary. Number one is salary. Number two is how many uh, off days that you have to get weekly. Kung anong pa yung mga perks and benefits mo. Ayun. And of course, guys, um, yun na nga, na-approve na yung work visa mo sa Singapore at ang mag-approve niyan is MOM. MOM is the Ministry of Manpower so sila yung final say for you to be able to stay, work, and live in Singapore. Ayun. Sana na sagot ko lahat ng mga questions niyo sa topic na to and please guys um, stay tuned for my next video regarding this topic on how to get a job here in Singapore. And of course mag-comment lang kayo dyan sa comment section and don't forget to subscribe also to my channel thank you a little longer than a few minutes later of course kapag uh, hindi ka naman dumaan sa agency at nakuha ka ng direct okay direct company so most likely it's a good job on your part kasi nga number one wala kang babayaran so all they have to do the HR of the company will contact you then you will give all the documents Tapos, uh, they're gonna send you for a medical as well kapag na-approve na yung pass mo. So, in short, wala kang babayaran kahit isang dolyar. Okay? So, kaya na-amaze pa rin ako sa mga taong nakakakuha ng mga direct job. Kasi nga sa sobrang hirap, ang ibig sabihin lang nun is every day sila nagsisend or maybe every other day sila nag-walk in. So, talagang inisa-isa na lahat ng mga job sites, mga company na gusto nilang pag workan Tapos, ito lang ang tip ko sa inyo, guys. Try not to be choosy. Okay? So, masasabi kong, I mean, try not to be choosy na, uh, ay, ayoko mo na to. Ito, ganyan. If I were you guys, I try to grab that opportunity. So, maybe later on, after what, six months or one year, kapag may nahanapan ka mas magandang company, and then that's the time na makakakuha ka ng better job. So, all you have to do is parang taste-taste na lang muna. Kasi nga guys, ang importante dito sa Singapore is to have a work permit. Or that working visa, I mean, it's either work permit, S-pass, or E-pass. Okay? So, taste-taste na lang muna. Pero, uh, luckily pa rin yung mga tao nakakuha ng direct. Okay? So, at least alam nyo na, 
paano niya makukumpara yung pagbabayad ng agency or makakakuha ng direct job. But of course, guys, um, may mga agency din pala sa Pilipinas na ano, na na nagbibigay ng trabaho pero yun, mas matas yung placement fee. Pero kung gusto nyo mag-practical na pumunta ng Singapore at may job na, might as well, I would recommend that. Para at least, pagpunta mo dito sa Singapore, hindi ka na naghanap na ng trabaho, wala ka na mga wasted time. So, pagdating mo dito, may trabaho ka na agad-agad. So, maybe in a couple of days, uh, pipirma ka ng kontrata, tapos mag-start ka na sa trabaho. Ayun lang guys, sana po may natutunan kayo sa video na to. Ayun, pahabol lang na information siya. Thank you!